so I wanted to do this video. This is a 2017 uh, E350 truck, and the client uh, said that uh, the air conditioning wasn't working so good. Um, of course, you have to come to the car to really define the problem, but apparently there wasn't enough airflow coming out the, the vents. And uh, after confirming that the air conditioning was charged correctly and there's no cabin filter in this, as you can see, this is what I found. Um, and what we did so that we didn't have to take this whole thing out, this is like a few hours of work, to take out this housing and the blower and the evaporator, the, the receiver dryers in the way, you gotta unbolt that. It's just that it turns into a lot of connections gotta be undone. I wanted to just be able to unclog this and I'm known for doing some things unconventional. So what I did is I took a hot knife and I, uh, I cut a, I cut this out like there, 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 and there. And I'm simply, and I took the two screws out here and here, and we bend that down. And I left the bottom still attached, hanging on by a little plastic. And I can now go in there and clean the surface of this evaporator. And as you can see, just just what I'm doing here with just this pick tool. It's uh, unclogging it. Uh, I don't even know what this is. It looks like insulation from something that degraded and came apart. I don't know what. But um, what I've just done in about 30 seconds has just probably increased the airflow 20%. And I didn't cut open the whole box. I just needed to get access to get a pick tool in there or some kind of a tool to softly scrape the surface of this evaporator and all right look at what we took out of here you know and look how much better it already looks it'll probably take me half an hour to clean this but after that we'll have airflow as good as new and we'll put this plastic back and we'll knit it back together with uh, um, a device uh, that does plastic welding it'll insert little plastic little metal staples will metal will melt into the two edges and then I'll finish it off with uh, some black silicone anyway that's how we do this job and come out with a perfect result and not have to bill big money to do this uh, other people look at this and say it needs an evaporator some people will throw in a heater core also um, it has no leaks it just has restricted airflow so um, we do this job and we make a good money make some good bucks doing it but um, we didn't have to disassemble the whole car anyway this is Kevin house call auto mechanics I'm out um, and also one more thing as long as I got you here my company makes this work light this is a 12 inch uh, LED light stick with a very powerful magnet and stainless steel swivel. I mount that on the uh, on the blower motor housing, and uh, I power it with a with a cable to the battery, or you can power it with your Milwaukee battery right here. This is an off brand not an actual Milwaukee but we make the housing and the housing has magnets on it you can you know stick it down to any metal mount it on the hood up top mount this anywhere and then you get to use your M12 Milwaukee battery we also make it in DeWalt and snap on 14.4 volt anyway that's available at goosegrip.com that's one of four really really unique lights like you've never dreamed possible go take a look this is kevin 
I'm out.